Yeah, well, you shouldn't have turned the gun on that kid, man. You shouldn't have turned the hey, gun on that. Do you want your cut of this money or not? Now shut up. Shut up. Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Trip Around the Multiverse with the random riddles with the nonsensical answers. See you, Sean. And bat nipples, Carl Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be having a look at... What, five Batman movies? Yeah. Today? It's well, Batman great, 66 it? movie. Yeah. Batman, 1989. Yeah. Batman Returns. That's free. Uh, 1992. Yep. Batman Forever, 1995, and Batman and Robin, 1997. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fine. Now, all I'm saying is this, right? I, when you look at it, um, I reckon yeah. Batman Forever and Batman and Robin are sequels. And then Batman 66 seems to be a sequel to them. Yeah. <laughs> Strangely. Yeah. They put it that way. <laughs> because they just, just are so nuts. Okay. Um... So, which of these have you seen the most? Um, possibly Batman Forever, I think. Oh, shut up! Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so of, I, I, I can't say. Look, I, the ones I think I've seen the most are Batman Six Six because it's been on TV since it, for so long. Yeah. So I must have caught it so many times. Not all, the whole thing, but you know when you just flick a channel to catch it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and maybe Batman and Robin for some reason, right? Mm. Um, I know which one I did not. I, I the one I have seen the least is Batman Forever. Really. The one I also, also dislike the most as well. Um, oh, but wow. we'll get into that. Okay. And you're saying you saw? Well, is your is that because it's your favorite or? I don't know. I just think I just was randomly caught it on TV and stuff. So I just think that's the most. <laughs> The reason why I've seen it the most. All right. So the the way, way the reason I say I dislike it is because you get, um you watch Batman nineteen eighty nine and you watch Batman Returns. Yeah. And then you follow up with Batman Forever, which is complete. Look, the villains in Batman, the Tim Burton Batman films are hammy, right, and campy, yeah, and over the top as well, right. Mm. But it fit the mood of the film, strangely yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. the dark tone. Yeah. Um. Now, shifting on to Joel Schumacher, it's like, yeah, so Riddle and Two-Face don't even take themselves seriously within the movie being comedic, yeah, if, if you get my logic. Mm. Like, um, as as silly as the Joker was, when I say silly, over the top, right? Yeah. Crazy the Joker is. He he, he came across as threatening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, the Penguin as well, so sometimes a bit campion, oh, no, not campion over the top, but kind of like, that insane sort of threat level. Yeah, okay. It's mean. unpredictability. Yeah. yeah. These two, right, just just having a time of their lives, enjoying making mockery of the movie. Oh, uh, I was like, mm, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not with that vibe. However, once we get to Batman and Robin, and no one's taking the movie seriously, I enjoy it. So it, 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 it's weird. It's weird. I have to say that. Yeah, I'm in the camp of I. Can't take Batman and Robin for it being a campy, stupid thing. I just can't stand that film whatsoever. Oh, really? Because yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so it's so dumb. I mean, no, no, that's cruel to say to the film. What I mean is, it it it's like 
it does not take itself seriously, therefore I cannot take it. Well, they, 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 they are going to fight Mr. Freeze somehow, right? So there's a new villain in town called Mr. Freeze, right? That's yeah. what Commissioner Gordon is saying yeah. to George Clooney Batman. Yeah. So that means it's the first time he's, he's, he's they're encountering, right? Except yeah. that somehow, when Batman and Robin are fighting Mr. Freeze's henchmen, they click their boots together and they got a uh, ice yeah, cube. Yeah, ice cube. Exactly. It's yeah. a bit. Mm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's just like, mm, yeah, some some crazy, um, like, yeah. And then and then Arnold's with his ice puns. So he don't care. The only thing he says is puns. You don't and and poison ivy. You gotta see, like, um, Uma Thurman and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. They just talk to each other in jokes. Yeah, I, I, I oh, okay, okay. I can't with it. All right, all right. I've tried to like, uh, you know, it's, 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 it knows what it is, but it's just too. Ah, uh, I don't know. You know that Jason, the Buddy Ventura was there, yeah. Yeah, doesn't help it. Yeah. Oh. Um, look, I, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it because it's so it, like Jonathan Glover being completely over the top as well. Like this movie is just not necessary. At the same time, <laughs> it's completely yeah. necessary. Um, yeah. Okay, so. So, costume-wise, mm. the Batman costume, which of these films do you reckon has the best one? The best-looking one? Um, I would have to say the costume he has at the end of Batman Forever. Oh, no. What? Yeah. Okay. I really like that costume. No, no, no. no. That's actually, it's, to be fair, it's actually not that bad, right? It's just like, a massive bat and stuff. I prefer the black and yellow, uh, the black costume with the yellow oval, and I think the Batman Returns costume looked the best because it looked like okay that the section in the middle where his uh, torso is looks like armor and not abs. I don't. I was thinking it's it's really odd to have a suit that looks like a rubber suit. No, nah, dude, it looks like abs. It's, no, no, no. The one, yeah, but one, the, 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 no, the one in Batman. Nine eight nine proper look like abs. Yeah. The one in Batman Forever, they look like okay. Yes, they've got that 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 section where, it, like, it's it's not actual abs. You know, it, it's a section that that kind of uh, best I can say it's like a, uh, a rectangular. It, it's two lines with a, a, an oval, at the, a circular thing at the top, and then in the middle it's kind of like wide sections that cut a little bit. Oh, it just looks like weird abs. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I've seen it. Not, okay. I've seen yeah. it in person. It, it, yeah, it looks crap. If I'm honest. Okay. Okay. But um, if that, but no, that's your opinion, and that's cool. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that like, your opinion is stupid or anything. Cause that's that'd be very yeah. mean. Yeah. But like, I don't know. For me, with the, those costumes, it looked too rubbery. Yes. Yeah. But the, uh, yeah. Um. That is true. It's true. Yeah, and That's here's the funny thing. Right? Well, here's the funny thing. You know, you look at the costumes. You're like, yeah, okay, it's that armor. What it looks like meant to be armor. What is foam? What is it? Right? Exactly. Yeah. And then I see how they make the Batman Begins armor. Yeah. Right. And it's basically a scuba suit with plastic pieces on it. Yeah. And I'm like, is that how they made all these other suits? Because they they like. He has it on coat hangers in one of the Batman films. Yeah, I see a picture of that now. Like, that makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> and we're not talking about 1996 one, no. which is basically just spandex. We're talking about, like, um, is it Batman Returns, the one that he has in the coat? Yeah, hangers? Batman Returns. Yeah. Um, that was that was a bit weird. Because yeah, you have like, sense. okay, is this meant to be heavy? Is it meant to be armour? I don't know exactly what. what. Yeah. Um, okay, in your mind, in your mind, do, do you count... The the Batman ninety nine, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, as one continuity. Loosely, yeah. Because uh, it was because the Alfred Michael Goff is the same. Yeah. And Pat Hingle, who's Commissioner Gordon, is the same, right? Yeah. Now I don't think I don't think DC uh, after the Crisis on Infinite Earth count them as as uh, the same Earth. Because um, Billy D. Williams is no longer Two Face. Wait, what? Yeah, you know, uh, in in Batman eighty nine. Yeah. Billy D. Williams is Two Face. It's Harvey Dent. Yeah. Yeah. And then in Batman Forever, he's Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah. I yeah. just 
think they think that everyone forgot, so it's just it's still in the same universe. Okay, all right. What because, do you count as in the same universe? Cause yeah, I, I do because it's basically right. still story carrying on. Oh well, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes sense to say. I know, but now in the comics, in the in the Batman eighty nine comics, they're saying no, it's not, it's not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Billy D. Williams is our Two Face, so yeah. fair enough, fair enough. Mm. Um, uh, but I actually think Billy D. Williams, see, he's signed on because he thought he was going to become Two Face. Yeah, you got, yeah, and he I'm, was meant to, yeah. Yeah, um, but no, as the character, he signed deliberately on for Harvey Dent because yeah, because he, he knew he was going to be Two Face. Well, he he was pretty sure he was going to get Two Face, yeah. but um, well, which I think he could pull off. It'd be nice to see. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, they're, they're kind of forward thinking with their casting, except they're not. Nope. Um, did you know, did you know as well, um, Matt Streck, Christopher Walken, mm. that was also, they were also going to make that. Okay, this is really weird, right? Because they right. Gonna, I don't know why they were decided to do this, but obviously Harvey Dent is Billy D. Williams in Batman uh, 989, right? Yeah. They wanted to. Also, maybe have Two Face in um, Batman Returns, okay? Yeah. Because it's like make him evil, or whatever. I don't know. The, you know the Max Shrek character come out of nowhere, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So at the end, I believe they were thinking Catwoman was going to kiss Harvey Dent mm. with the taser and the electric, whatever was going on, right? That craziness. Yeah. yeah. And then that scar half his face, and then uh, turn him into two, and then you get Two Face for the next movie or something like that. Yeah. Or, or, you know, the ideal or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's kind of... Way out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. after Shrek got kissed by uh, Catwoman with the taser and that, um, when Batman found his buddy, that was actually quite frightening. You know, when he pulls off the thing and you see the, 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 the burnt husk of uh, Max Shrek. Yeah. Uh, did scar me as a child. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. Much. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure this movie came out in the 15. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. So how did you manage to watch it as a child? Um, when it came out on VHS, I think oh, okay. my aunt bought it for my brother his birthday. And your brother's younger than you. Yeah. <laughs> but strangely, when it ever came to like um comic book films, my parents didn't really care about the age. Like, eh, it's, it's comic. Yeah, whatever. Well, well. Here, here, and now you point that out, right? When you saw Catwoman. Hmm. In that leather suit. Yeah. When you're thinking... Oh, no, obviously, as a kid, you're not thinking. You're thinking, oh, it's cool. Isn't it? but, you're, but when you watch it, uh, when you're older, then you're like... Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, it's a great performance. Let me put it that way, yeah? And she's exactly as Catwoman. Like, when, when she turns into Catwoman, she had the mannerisms and, 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 and persona of Catwoman. I don't know about the take on it. Yeah. But, she, you know, it's like Michelle Pfeiffer's got the, the right... The correct elements, yeah? yeah, executed for that particular movie is the best way to put it. Yeah, I'll say that. But yeah. she, I always found it, I don't know, that costume like weird. It, it's a cool looking costume. Yeah, but I thought that's very it, practical. It, yeah, yeah, it's, it's got a different. It's, it's a really odd kind of uh, vibe to it. If you, if you, yeah, if you, it's a very. But yeah. It makes sense in the long run. Like, oh yeah. Because it'd be yeah. weird if she had some like battle tech armor and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even like, like <laughs> the purple, the, the purple cat suit. You know? Yeah, the costume. I've always hated that costume in the comics. Yeah. I don't get it. I, I, I tell you what though, it was really good. I liked. Um... <clears throat> so there's two scenes in, in in the two particular scenes I thought very Batman in this in in nine eighty nine Batman and Batman Returns. Right. Mm. Firstly, where Batman gets introduced. Now, not the one where he's standing on the rooftop where. It's ba- an animated Batman walking over. Do you see? Do you remember? Yeah, <laughs> Where he looks yeah. down on the city and basically they base drawn on the film because it yeah. looks really out of place. Yeah, it didn't age well. It, it's because it's too. His color look. His color is looking too thick. That's yeah. what it is, and it doesn't look like a proper shadow. No. Um. But yeah, when he when the thugs go and <clears throat> uh, rob the rich guy and his kid and the the, the wife at the beginning. Yeah. And then the dude the, the splitting the money. The one guy with the gun, he's like splitting it with his partner. And the partner's saying, uh, talking about how, oh, yeah, the bats. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have bought them. You should have the kid um, being hearing about the bat and stuff. And he goes, shut up. You want this money? And then behind them, you see kind of <clears throat> the Batman drop it down against the smoke. Yeah. 
and then they 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 chat they they just chatting the the folks are just chatting about spending the money whatever right yeah and then you see the bat shadow go over them and they yeah. look up and they crap themselves they start running they turn around they fire the gun a couple of times and Batman just drops to the floor yeah was <laughs> well, like well okay your film ended like movie five minutes over <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> roll credits <laughs> yeah so but uh, I and this is what I'm imagining right so they turn they turn around they see him dead they turn, they they probably just think okay I've just murdered someone I better you know we're gonna continue running except yeah. that Batman does the Undertaker because you don't see you don't see it but Batman does the Undertaker sit up that's what I'm thinking right yeah. And then and then they, his shadow comes across them again, and they 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 proper crap themselves. Yeah. And then he just thrust kicks a guy through a door. And this is the guy who was saying you shouldn't have threatened the little kid. This is the guy the guy who was like being um, the reluctant cohort. Yeah. He got the worst of it. The other guy who threatened the kid, right? Yeah. He got grabbed, dragged through the rooftop, and the Batman's like, you know, let all your jabroni friends know. Who I am. Yeah. They're What's my name? They didn't quite do it like that. <laughs> but he's like, yeah. Um, and he goes, who are you? And he, I'm Batman. And then he just throws the guy up, uh, throws the guy back on the rooftop and jumps and dives down himself. And I'm thinking, maybe you should have done it to the other guy. Hmm. However, I thought it was a great superhero interest scene for Batman. Right. Um, the other scene I thought very Batman was like, well, going back to Catwoman is when um, Shrek is, uh, so Catwoman is there. Matt yeah. Shrek is is coming to like he's at, he's at the end of his tether now, right? He's trying to he's trying to convince Catwoman, no, don't kill me. Yeah. <clears throat> Batman appears because he's trying to stay he's trying to quell the whole situation. And um <laughs> Shrek goes over to Batman and says, Yes, yeah, save me, Batman, save me. And he, he pie faces Shrek to the side. Shut up, you're going to jail. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that's great. Batman's hilarious. <laughs> and, and then he shoved him to the side. Looks at Catwoman, right? And he tries to... Because she, she's also... Got, she's gone a bit nutty at this point, right? Yeah. Uh, and he's he's trying to talk her down. And I was like, oh, you know what? I mean, not that he resolved everything with violence, but as a situation... As a Bruce Wayne situation where he's... Um, uh, they, they're kind of in a relationship... As their as they're civilian identities mm. in a relationship, but in uh, as adversaries in their in their costume identities, which still have a thing going on as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. He, he, yeah, he's just, he's trying to talk her down. And I was like, oh, you know what? That's actually quite, um, quite something there as well. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a good film, Batman Returns. Except for um, the fact that Batman kills many people in that film, but <laughs> we'll, gloss over, we'll gloss over that, you know, it never happened. No, uh, wait, wait, no, 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 let's get a little bit of the, let's get a little, oh, okay, let's go a bit of detail on that. Um, yeah, because I also think, as much as I like the film, yeah, he, he just basically murders people. Um, yeah. There's the fire, so he's in his car, he's in the, 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 the Batmobile, and there's a fire, like the circus, uh, evil circus is in town, right, the bank penguins, and the sewer evil circus group. Yeah. I don't know what, right? And the one fire breather is just, you know, breathing flames at, at the car, right? Yeah. Batman, you're in the car, you're protected. You don't have to care about this guy. No. No, I'll just do the hydraulic, turn the car around, right? And then I will flame him with the, uh, what's it called? Exhaust. The exhaust or the thrust is what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm oh, like, okay. right. Now, first of all, this guy... It's partly his fault because it's clear this car's doing something and you're yeah. not trying to move out of the way. And you're an idiot for trying to breathe fire on a armored vehicle anyways, yeah? Yeah. But Batman, you just turn him into Cinder. I know it's meant to be Christmas time and if he stop, drop and roll, he might survive, yeah? But <laughs> was it necessary in the first place? No. It wasn't necessary at all. <laughs> the, the, the other one where you had the uh, big uh, strongman. Yeah. And um, I think was it was it he punches Batman, yeah, who no sells it, and then he says take your best shot, and then Batman that Batman doesn't even punch him right, he straps a bomb he stole off someone else onto the guy and then shoves him in a sewer. Yeah. No, no, does he punch the guy and the guy and the guy also no sells it. He laughs and then Batman Batman cracks a smile and then the, you see the bomb on the guy. And I'm like that is straight on murder. Yeah. Batman. Uh, as clownish as it is, kind of funny as well. It's just like, yeah, that's that. <laughs> in this type of film, yeah, no, yeah, you, no. 
Dark Avenger of the Night, just strapping bombs to people and blowing them up. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I don't get it. But it's kind of one of those things you don't think about it to afterwards. Cause, ah, that's yeah. pretty cool. And you're like, wait a minute. Uh, I'm pretty sure as well in, in Batman 89, he so when he bombed East Chemicals, yeah, and there were people inside that, yeah, and I think he was when he was fighting up the the, the church, and he just basically he heads into some guy's head into the bell and then and then just dropped him down the stairs. Yeah, the broken got... stairs no less. So you know, there's no connection between <clears throat> how you get from the bottom to the top. He just yeah. got right in the middle. So he's obviously dead. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I have to say some of the fights were pretty funny though. And and then they're going to be poli- not going to be polished choreographed fights that we have nowadays, yeah. especially at like the Batman warehouse scene in Batman vs Superman. Best fights um, ever. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, one. Uh, so some some of the people there, uh, these villains, <clears throat> they get their weapons and start being flashy with them. I think it was the guy doing backflips and, and yeah, yeah, them. yeah. And then Batman somehow has flips a pad out on his palm, and the guy's doing a fly kick, and uh, yeah, not just. He gets the guy in the nuts and the guy just drops. Yeah. All right. Okay, sure. fine. Yeah. And this is the one where also, I believe, the guy with the two swords starts swinging them at Batman. He's blocking them with his uh, gauntlets. Gauntlets, yeah. yeah. And then and he palms the guy in the face. And the guy takes a stump back and he's like, huh? What, what happened? And then he just continues again. Like, Ugh. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Fight scenes are pretty crappy in these films, aren't they? Um, depends, <laughs> you think back depends, now. That depends, first of all, how entertained you are with these uh, uh, over the top ridiculous fight scenes. Because in Batman 66, right, Bruce Wayne had the fight scene, and that was amazing. Was it? <laughs> I'm like, I'm serious, because I can't remember, so you, I'm, I'm gonna take your word for it. Oh well, well it depends how. Okay, depends on how you think uh, amazing is. If you if it's if it's so over the top, it's clownish, right? Yeah. That's. Yeah, when they're throwing wild haymakers that are clearly not going to kick to no one because they have the bam and whash yeah. and smash sounds just to cover the, the yeah. I mean, <clears throat> like, they were throwing wrestling punches. No. Oh, wow. No, they, they won't even do that because you know, wrestling punches actually connect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these, I'm guessing <clears throat> they were like, oh, mild away, but obviously because of this, this yeah, effect, exactly, exactly. you can't see. Uh, I think there was one where. There was one where the Riddler was sw- swinging a chair at Bruce Wayne, he ducked, right? Yeah. And he hit the Joker or something like that, right? Yeah. But what they had, did have was have a kind of a pole in the way. So he swung the chair at the pole, so there was no actually connecting again. But but the other guy sold it because, yeah, that's yeah. How, you know, that's what the uh, choreography was. You know, it's just yeah. that they had a safety barrier, which is fair, which, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what, oh, when wow. did you think of some of these? Uh... Okay. Can you tell me some things you did like in Batman 66? Um, or, or, or better yet, right? Some of the wacky stuff. Obviously, the sh- bat shark repellent. That was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Um, <laughs> the, where the shark somehow jumped like, out of the water to yeah. bite Batman's leg. Yeah, like about 30 feet in the air, the shark jumped yeah, yeah. him in the leg. Robert sure. Shark, he's punching the shark in the head. Even though he has no... This is not armour... No. This is spandex, Batman. Well, I guess in their continuity it was armor. Or don't well, know. the same with Power Rangers, right? Yeah. Where they were in spandex and somehow they did. It's, it's battle it's, armor. Yeah, yeah, against cosmic, cosmic non-Earth weapons, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to say it's armor, whatever. Um, that part <laughs> was cool. Um, yeah. I did find hilarious the bit where he's running down like the street holding a bomb. Yes, yes. Yeah, and then the people were saying, people were saying, oh, you know what? It's good on Batman, um, <clears throat> sorry, Dark Knight Rises to, to tribute this movie. <laughs> yeah. Some days you can't get rid of a bomb. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Good on Batman. Um, that's all I sort of remember. <clears throat> what, what do you think of the, um, the crazy riddles, which don't make any sense whatsoever? That Riddler in that period, especially in that show and that yeah. film, was crap. Sorry, like no, no, his and, riddles. <laughs> and, we, and, and here's the funny thing, right? When when you say crap, right, you don't mean because he actually is what he what his job is is to have riddles, yeah, yeah. But none of these are riddles. No. Yeah. What's yellow and right? What has yellow skin and rights? A ballpoint banana. What? He's 
that's not even a thing. Yeah, you know I mean, it's just like that's why it's stupid because that's not a thing. <laughs> and um, what people are always in a hurry. This one, this one I can get right. What people are always in a hurry. I don't know. Russians. All right. Okay, uh, fair I, enough. I, I get it. <clears throat> so if you combine these two together, what what does that mean? Well, someone Russian is gonna slip up banana and break their neck. Yes, Robin. The only possible meaning. What? <clears throat> okay. Huh? Yeah, it's like... well, if you say so, if you say so, Batman. Um, if you say that, that's that's that's, that's yeah, uh, quite amazing. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and then then they got the riddle of how they worked out what villains uh, are working together against Batman and Robin in this film, hmm. where it's pretty fishy what I have to be on that ladder, right? That's when Batman got the shark uh, by his leg, right? Yeah. Uh, and you mean where there's a fish, there's there could be a penguin. It's like, what? 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 What's what? Where'd you get that from? And then it happened at sea. Sea for Catwoman. What? What? what, what? Okay. And then the shark was pulling my leg. The Joker. It's like, right. Uh... And then it all adds up to a sinister riddle. Rid- riddler. Okay. So Batman, you got four villains that are working against you, and somehow you worked out with your amazing skills. You, um, Commissioner Gordon, Robin, and Chief O'Hara. Worked out who they are. <sighs> the, the amazing skills of you guys. Um, no you know one, what? no one, be able to defeat you with your logic jumping and whatnot. You know. You know what? I want to say this. I'm going to say this. Might be yeah. controversial. Yeah. I blame this movie for the way Batman's written now in comics. How Batman always wins, sort of thing. Okay. I blame okay. this movie for that, that that little bit alone. How yeah. he pieced together a riddle that makes no sense whatsoever. <coughs> and... No, oh, no, okay. <sighs> let me let me defend a little bit, a little bit, right? All right. Um, <coughs> Scott Snyder yeah. writes Batman with like um, with the it has logical deductions when he yeah. works out this stuff. So yeah. you know, fair enough, right? Yeah. Uh, all the Scott Snyder stuff, it might be complicated and it might be like obscure for. Someone to have knowledge of, right? But Batman, apparently, Batman has knowledge of everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's not random. Yeah, it's somewhere. It's somewhere you can come to a conclusion too. Yeah. Whereas, yes, some of these other things, right? Even like in the comics, he'll just it'll be the answer because they need to move the plot along. Yeah. yeah. Which makes uh, sense, ish. Yeah, but but it, it, it's stupid at the same time. And sometimes you don't even have to have the deduction. There was one. There was one uh, Batman um, animated series comic. Yeah. Where Riddle was like, "I've had enough of Batman." Yeah. He keeps on solving my riddles, right? Yeah. If if he solves my last riddle here, like I'm gonna do a crime because his henchmen like, "Come on, do one more, one more for the road, yeah." Yeah. He goes, "Right, this will be my last one." If if Batman uh, works out what's going on here, I'm I'm retiring. Yeah. <clears throat> so he's dropping all the riddles to Batman, and he's doing and he's committing his crimes. Yeah. And then um, when Batman captures him, he, he's like Batman. I, I Batman, tell me, I demand how you know how you knew what was going on and where you how you worked out because they were really really like uh, really hard riddles and stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> And Batman's like, well, actually, it did not work out stuff. I was here coincidentally because of someone else, like yeah. another villain or whatever. And then, yeah. Batman, then Riddler's like, oh, oh, uh, yeah, he goes, oh, great. I'm amazing. <laughs> Batman couldn't solve my stuff. I'll continue being the Riddler, like, stuff like that, right? As yeah. he's getting captured and taken away. Yeah. Right? But I'm like, oh, you know what? That make, you know, some some stuff don't make sense. And then, yeah, how you resolve it is to have something else. Get you in that direction, if yeah, um, not coincidentally, just like you know, who someone else is trying to steal the same thing, I think as well. So. Yeah, 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 as you are, if there's an exhibit or something, and and all the thieves come out the woodwork for the same thing. Yeah. All right. What did you think of um, the joke? Okay, hold on. Um, okay, I mean, let's yeah, start with my Batman sixty six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What did you think of the villains there? What did you think of the Joker? Um. I don't mind Cesar Romero's Joker. He's all right. Um, He's very bright and colourful, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. And <clears throat> I never noticed him when I was a kid, but probably because I wasn't looking. Yeah. He had that paint over his moustache. Moustache, yeah, because he refused to shave his moustache yeah. for the TV show. Yeah. Yeah. 
And oh. I, like, I, I never realised that. But then nope. what's funny is um, in the Batman 66 comics, yeah, they actually draw him with a little bit of moustache. Is it? Yeah, yeah they do, do a couple of little moustache that co- is covered with the face paint. Oh, great. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think of Penguin here? Um, never really liked the Penguin in the, in, in this series. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know, like, personally, like, they're all way too cheesy for my liking. Well, uh, I think they are kind of a product of their, of their time. time yeah. yeah. Even as a kid, I just don't know. I, just, I just didn't really enjoy these villains. I was like, oh, you're a bit weird for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah, this is before the Penguin was a crime boss. Yeah. yeah. Was just a guy. With gimmicks. With a... Uh, with, what uh, in a tuxedo with a umbrella gimmick? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, what do you think of Catwoman here? Who who is played by Lee Merriweather and not Julie Lu- Newmar, who act- does the series? Um, she was okay. Yeah, I I could stand her. Yeah, this is like <clears throat> the others, the male villains. I just never really. Well, I tell you, I tell you, what's funny is somehow okay at time. Yeah, it's. It's Catwoman is fine. I just find some funny scenes where she trips over something and then her mask falls off. But throughout the entire film, her mask doesn't come off, even if she's doing some other outrageous stuff. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she does the guise of Miss Kit Car. All right. And those are like, uh, and that's how, how, how the Russian ambassador woman they used to seduce Bruce Wayne. And then she had to pretend to be her because they kidnapped her. But also be Catwoman because she, in the same place because she's also teaming up the Riddler, Joker, and uh, Penguin. All right, fine. All right. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it is for jokes anyway, so it don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. At all, uh, what just... do you think of the Riddler here? Just two over the top. <sighs> yeah. But then, it, th- but then again, I think this is also an influence onto Jim Carrey's religion, which we'll get on to uh, very yeah, soon. Yeah, soon. Um, so the Joker, Batman, nine eighty-nine. I like him. Um, I know people say he's the best. Him and Heath Ledger's Joker's joint, but well, well, well okay, okay. Um, okay, know. my opinion, my personal opinion is, I, I, even though we're not speaking about the Dark Knight trilogy, yeah. I prefer that Joker. Yeah, same. Only because he's actually more sinister and uh, menacing. Yeah. Whereas this, uh. I mean, it's cause of a, a kind of the build as well, Jack Nicholson, how old he is at this time. Um, yeah. Someone was suggesting, saying, oh, you know, he's just like a wacky old uncle. Um, which he, he, he didn't come off as a bit for a bit. I mean, because um, I think it's also what he's wearing is a bit weird. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, it stands out too much what he yeah. wears. And yeah. then, and then he, he does some stuff like, okay, there's, there is some stuff that is very Joker-like. Yeah. Um, when when he messed up Jerry Hall, like Jerry Hall's face, he's wearing a mask, though, kind of th- he hardly quins it a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. Um, there's the bit where he he kind of he's got his inflatable that he's gonna throw money around, and then he's just gonna poison everyone with Joker gas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um, where he pulls out, where he so where Batman snips all his uh. Helium inflated um, bl- blimps. Yeah. Throw them into the sky. And he goes, he, he took my balloons. And then he, he said, Bob, give me a gun. Yeah. And Bob gave him the gun. And he just shoots Bob. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Like, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, that's joke of behavior. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> but there's the bit where he's shooting down um, that the, I can't remember exactly the, the, the guy, his boss, right? But when, before he was Jack Napier. Yeah. Um, and then when he shoots him, okay, tra- Jack's dead. You can call me Joker. And he shoots him a good couple of times with the Magnum or whatever gun he has. And then he starts shooting through his legs, turning his back, shooting backwards, you know, shooting yeah. under his armpit and stuff like that. I'm like, right. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. Fine, sure. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and there's yes. the one where he's, after he's um, menaced at Vicky Vale, after he's shot Bruce Wayne, um, because he, yeah, which was a good scene by uh, Michael Keaton, by the way. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. And then Joker shoots him, but he had a 
or, or you want to call it a T plate or something like that. Yeah. That stops bullets somehow. Okay, fine. Sure. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it depends how thick it is, but we don't. You can't tell on the screen how thick it is. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I mean, I, I don't know about you. I don't handle T plate. T plate, the, the metallic T, whatever it is, right? Yeah. I don't handle them often, so I don't know how thick they are either, right? No, right, yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, fine. We're standard bullet web. And then he's exiting the door, and he just kind of leans back and farts his way out. Yeah. Right? Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And and then there's the the the, the ballet lady. The, so there's a statue of a lady balancing on one leg like a ballet. Yeah. And he he, he he mimics the statue, and then he swings his arms across and knocks the statue over. Of course, right? Yeah. Which is like, um, <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. He is a strange character. Yeah. He definitely stands out. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that's all I can say, really, because. Some of it is crazy, and it's definitely scene <coughs> uh, stealing, right? Yeah. De- definitely leaves a lasting impression. Um, I have to say the makeup with the, the fake smile yeah. <clears throat> was really sinister. Yeah. Looking, it, 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 it re- it's like a grimace that is a smile. It don't look right. Yeah. And um, like, I'll say, then it looks good, but yeah. it doesn't look that good now. Mm. In my personal yeah. opinion, I actually looked. Um, I, when, when I say worse, what I mean is he looked. So he he his he, he went into the acid and he turned white. Okay. Yeah. As uh, actually white. Yeah. Not yeah. like white man white, proper white. Yeah. And then what he does is put makeup on himself to make him normal skin color. Yeah, that looks. And hilarious. then he goes on. Yeah, he goes on TV and says, "I've taken off my makeup." And he's like, "No, Jabroni, you put your makeup on." Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? It just I've looks so off. funny. Yeah. He's like, I've taken off my makeup, so Batman, you can take off your mask. Um, yeah, but like you're saying, they genuinely looked, right, that they painted Jack Nicholson white, Yeah. and then they painted him back to normal skin colour on top of that. Yeah, which is hilarious. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm, oh, instead of just doing his normal, like, normal face, like, just yeah. get rid of all the makeup and stuff and have his normal face, they just coloured upon makeup. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. makes sense for the film, obviously. It's yeah, so... yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it yeah. so much. Um, yeah, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, because there's no other, there's no other, aside from him being there, there's no other villains to talk about in this film. Um, Catwoman. Yeah. What did you think of Catwoman in um, Batman Returns? Um, I really liked Catwoman. Um, her costume was a bit whatever but i like the character um yeah now um uh, like yeah so it's leather and it's tight thing of course right yeah and you literally Uh, see her make it (laughs) yeah 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 and it's stitched together uh, the look works for the character of the how the backstory is in this particular film yeah um i'm not sure if i would say i like the how selena Kyle was in her civilian identity because that was very mousy and that's not the Selena Kyle we kind of know. Yeah. I, not saying I, that she needs to be a, a, a thief or anything like that. Yeah. Right? Um, but she was a very... It was almost like this is the Clark Kent version of her persona. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but like, then, I kind of get it for the film. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of made sense. But and Once she got pushed out of the building <laughs> and got revived by the cats whatever yeah yeah like supernaturally i don't know when but when she became more the confidence thing kind of like oh you know what yeah um this this it's all the parts that you expect Calvin to be kind of like a bit uh cool and confident and uh seductive but also fierce not necessarily violent but you know yeah uh, yeah all, all that kind of like, uh, get, you know, woman power stuff like that. Yeah. Talking about it. Yeah. She could take care of herself. She take care of herself, yeah. Um, they and then, like, I did like, like you're saying, soon as she got bit by the cat or whatever, she became more confident and girl power-ish. So, yeah, I enjoyed that. And and how, how, for some reason, for some reason, somehow, her and Batman 
Like I could get that they between the uh, in them in the costumes and then out of the costumes incidentally, yeah. right? But when they're in the costumes, they, you, there's like all that that tension. Um, I'm like, oh okay, yeah. actually really well executed considering. Yeah, because um, yeah, they could have could have been goofy, but it just was. It just not was. Uh, it was just I. Uh, I think randomly meet. You know, it's yeah. not like for example when Selena Carl meets back uh, Bruce Wayne. They can do something during the time whenever they are in. I want to say daytime, but you know, whenever they meet up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whereas they've got a clash in the middle of the night between fighting and not fighting to have a little tension going on. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. So, and I, I did like how basically when <clears throat> um, they're on the rooftop and she's knocked him out. Oh no! So. <laughs> She, she, he punches her or something like that, right? Uh, I think she's throwing high kicks somehow, right? Yeah. In yeah. her costume, which has heels, but also does not have heels. So yeah. we're going to say the collapsible heels, right? Yeah, we guess. Um, and she, yeah, and then she, so then Batman is blocking some of the kicks, throws a punch at her, knocks her down, and she goes, "How could you? I'm a woman." And then he's like, "I'm sorry." And then she she sweeps him over or something like that. She yeah. Goes, I'm a woman, and. Uh, you, you shouldn't take me lightly. She, I think she throws him over the rooftop or something like that. I think so, yeah. Yeah, and uh, then he... So, she whips him, so he's tied to the rooftop, and then basically, <clears throat> with one arm, and he then mixes acid together with his other hand from his belt bolt and throws it on her. Yeah. Uh, a lot, I mean, her, on her arm, but still, it's just like, wow. I mean, you couldn't get a knife to try and cut yourself loose. No, you're just going to kind of... Yeah, that's a bit extreme. Yeah, Batman does extreme, you know. He doesn't yeah. do half measures. He's <clears throat> all in. <laughs> yeah. And then there's another bit where uh, he's knocked over on the rooftop and she kind of just sits on top of his, uh, like on top of him. Yeah. Um, it's torso area. Yeah. And then he sees the mistletoe. Uh, and mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. And then, yeah, and a kiss can be even deadly if you mean it. And then they repeat that line when they when Bruce Wayne and Smooney Kyle are dancing, and then they realize they were fighting against each other. Yeah. And then the way they look at each other and they're like, they just kind of they, they kind of panic, but not because they just hold each other close and they go, "What do we do now?" Yeah. Because now, yeah, because um, like, Celine <laughs> Kyle's like run, uh, uh, running a tear from her eye, just like. Everything's falling apart. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, oh, you know what? This is kind of... Wow, yeah. I mean, you would expect a superhero film like this, like, and a wacky one. Like, well, this, this is quite crazy as well. But it actually is, like, well, well acted as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good... Well, it's a really good film. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the Penguin here? I love the Penguin. Because it, it's such a weird... Like, his backstory and stuff is, like, so tragic and stuff. Yeah. And like his whole thing is sort of to be accepted, but then seek revenge for the people that out, like cast him out. Yeah. So um, like he's paying like three different emotions. Oh yeah, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it, it's quite funny how at the beginning they basically it, this is a pre credit sequence. His parents just somehow you know they 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 they, they, they he, he's like got flippers or whatever, yeah. and they just see his hand and they're just like looking at each other and they're like. We gotta dump this kid and then just throw him in the river ish in his um pram and he just floats into the Gotham sewers because they're so big somehow. Yeah. And then penguins, he goes uh, penguins live in the sewers? Whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the <laughs> yeah. bit I was like, this makes no sense, but yeah. sure, whatever. Yeah, and then he, he comes out like oh yeah, you can see that why this take this El uh I wanna say this Elseworlds version, but this particular take on the penguin, I'm like it works with the the how it is. Yeah. Uh but I just think like Tim Burton's like, Oh the penguin, how can I make this my Stand style? Out. Yeah. Yeah. And I do like how uh, the particular lines that like, you know as a kid I never got, but um when Penguins found finally found the grave of his um Parents. <clears throat> yeah. And Oswald Copperbot was my name. Yeah. And I was their number one son, but they treated me like number two. Yeah. And I was like, right. I never got that until obviously you know what number two is when you go to the loo. Yeah. Now you put it that way. Yeah, I get it. <clears throat> and I think they, 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 because I was like, this makes this makes no sense. Did they have another son that was like, why was he second? Yeah. You know, 
And then I was like, oh, years later. Oh, I get it now. Oh, I right. get it. They threw him down a saw like poo. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to throw in there Max, Max Shrek as well. Yeah. What did you think of, as, of the villain in this? Um, He always, uh, for some reason. Evil in, by the way. Evil in this, right? Yeah. For some reason, he always just scared me. I don't know why. Even it's, as a his kid, hair. it's his, it's his hair, hair. Yeah. I think it, I think it's the still. I mean, Chris Walken's a good actor, right? Yeah. But he acts a particular fashion. Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of like, yeah, he's stilted, but he's also painted up like a Tim Burton fantasy character. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it, it's like he's not quite human. Yeah. That's that's, <laughs> that's the best way to put it. Yeah, he's like a demon sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, a Chris, a Christmas ghost, as it's yeah. saying Christmas. Yeah. Um, I thought I, I thought he, he he stood out in a nice in a, in a way that's kind of devious and scummy. Yeah, uh, like a politician that he is. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no politician. But he's more like a corrupt businessman. Yeah. Um, even though yes, there's no Max Shrek character in DC law. Not yet. This, he made himself memorable in a film that has quite a bit. Of memorable stuff in it. Yeah, he stood out. Yeah. Um, okay. What did you think of Two Face in Batman Forever? <laughs> um, you know what? He's okay. Yeah. Like I like them. He, even though realistically he didn't have the two, like the comics, he has the two personalities. Yeah. In this, he didn't really have that. He just had the one. I'm crazy, woohoo, sort of thing. <laughs> uh, and, and then he spoke like Venom. Which, uh, uh, when I say that, right, well, I never thought Two Face spoke like we, like, because there's two of him, right? Yeah. Because he's still him, still Harvey Dent. Yeah. And Two Face, but the way that Tommy Lee Jones played it is like, yeah, we are Venom, there's two of us in here. But yeah. a bit weird over the top kind of style. Hmm. And then the way he played it was like he was trying to compete with the wackiness of the Riddler. Yeah. Played on Jim Carrey. Peak Jim Carrey when I say that. What I mean is he is at his over-the-top maximum here. Yeah. And you can't see still from a character. I mean, he was playing a dangerous game there where, where I, like I say, you then start not taking a movie seriously. Yeah. Um, because they're just trying to outdo each other. Yeah. And how, who, how can you outdo Jim Carrey? You can't. It's a yeah. suicide mission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, some people have tried it, but it just, yeah. Um, it was that bit, especially when, when the Riddler's like, um, at the end, when he's talking about, if knowledge is power, then a god, um, <sighs> with the yeah. demon voice. Yeah. And then he goes, what's that two over the top? I can never tell. And I was like, uh, You know, yeah. I like to think that scene was... Yeah improvised and they kept it in because they thought it was good yeah 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 I mean like I, I guess they yeah but I get what you mean it kind of was like oh you've gone a bit too far now yeah but then he, he was he was already gone too far by the, by the very his very introduction <laughs> when 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 okay <laughs> somehow right Two-Face has a room with yeah. um, Sugar and Spice yeah uh, Drew Barrymore in, in like uh, the, the white area or whatever right yeah, and then uh, I can't remember the other lady. Vivica Fox, I think. No, 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 no. You're you're talking about Mister Freeze. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I can't remember the oh, other lady. Oh yeah, I can't remember the other lady. Yeah, but she's playing Spice as well, and she's in the black leathers and whatnot. Yeah, and it's split right down the middle. And when Two Face is walking down the middle, it's, it's it's yes, okay, fair enough. That side, that side. When Riddler appears, and Two Face has to turn around, right? Yeah. The sets don't match no more. <laughs> As in, the side don't match the, the, the split down the middle. Because he's turned around and now he's on the other side. Um, but yeah, as soon as he appears, it's like, yeah. With his carrot red hair. Yeah. And then his, his blusher as well. To yeah. highlight how, yeah, it's just like, mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Which is funny, it's, it's, it's kind of funny because <clears throat> when Jim Carrey's got when he's the Riddler, he's got short hair. Yeah. Uh, when he's Edward Nygma, he has the long brown hair. Well, not the long brown hair, but the mid length, right? Yeah. yeah he yeah. tries to style himself to look like Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Uh, did the, the, the Val Kilmer Bruce Wayne. So, like, did you film a whole section of scenes first with their hair and then cut it 
and then film the Riddler scenes? Probably. Yeah. Was he um, wearing? You, or he could be wearing a wig. Oh yeah, it could be. Yeah, it's different by now. Yeah, it could be wearing <coughs> a wig. Because I never, I never remember Jim Carrey's hair being that long. So. That's true. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Um, all right. Um, yeah. So, um, what did you think of Mr. Uh, Freeze? <sighs> Mr. Freeze. Where do I start? Where do I begin? Um, <clears throat> oh, I, I can't with him. <laughs> all right. Well, let, let me say this, right? He was definitely no Mr. Freeze from the Batman anime series. No. Um, they had a similar backstory where his, his wife was dying from something and he wanted to freeze his wife. Yeah. Uh, I know it's McGregor syndrome in this, but not, not necessarily being Batman and the animated series. Yeah, yeah. But somehow, and they had to go in and uh, um, work out why the scientist would be so super buff, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was Olympic decathlete as well in Austria. Okay, fine. Is that what he right. said? That's what they said. Oh, f- f- okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that, I mean, like, right. can you buy Arnold as a scientist? Um, uh, You know. Like, Maybe. Mm, well. Well, Realistically, you can't buy Dolph Lundgren as a. Was he like a genetic physicist in real life, something like that? Uh, a a a engineer of some sort. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like super smart, but he just pretends that he's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. So I guess that's I could true. buy Arnold as a. Um, but well. yeah, how? Um, yeah. So when he's in that, it's the suit that's the killer because yeah. it's got the lights on the inside, which are blue. Now, yeah. I don't mind Mr. Freeze painted blue, whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, he, he, but how can your suit be as hammy as the lies that you're saying as well, you know? Yeah. Um, but it, the overall presentation of the character works for me because yeah. it was silly, right? It's not as if they tried to be serious. Yeah. Um, even though they could have had a really good serious move in their hand mm. with the characters they used, they're like, nah, nah, we ain't going that way. Yeah. We are not going that way at all. Um, Poison Ivy. Uh, another one. I just can't stand her. In yeah, this I, I would have to say the, exa- uh, the, the exact same reasons I like Arnold is the exact same reasons I like uh, Uma Thurman. Like, they just they just don't care. Like, uh, I've got some wild oats to sow. All those, all those. Uh, um... Can't. Yeah. Like my thing. I I think. The reason why I don't like Mr. Freeze in this is like, why does he have henchmen and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Why? Why does he have? So he, then he can make them 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 ice shakes to someone. Yeah, and, no, you know. But like, I don't know. I just, ugh, I, I just don't. Right, I, okay. I don't so you, you mentioned uh, Vivica E. Fox there, right? Yeah. So, yeah, this is when, um, and you talk about why Arnold has the henchmen. He's watched the movie of him and his wife. They, 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 they're. Uh, um, whatever they were doing in the, the movie, the the the, because he's watching the past and how happy he was, right? I think it's their wedding or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then one of the henchmen say something, and then he just he turns around, he shoots his freeze gun at the guy, and he goes, I, I, uh, and he goes, I hate it when they talk in the middle of the movie, right? Okay. And then the the, the a fox comes on to Arnold, uh, in her in her what's it called? Uh, Parker. Yeah, because you know it's it's cold, right? Yeah, they're in the freezer. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and she's she's talking about uh, hey fr- uh, freeze. Why don't we get together sometime, like right? Yeah. And he goes, there's a, there's a, only one woman with my ice cold heart that, that melts my heart, right? And then she responds with, talk about giving a cold shoulder. I'm like, right, okay, <sighs> you know, uh, okay. Even his henchman again, I'm on the joke. <laughs> This is why I can't. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, this is why I can't for this film. It's just, uh, it's, too, it's too wild for your taste, it's right? Too... And I get over the years they've kind of they've kind of swung it into like this film was meant to be silly when when really when it came out it wasn't. Yes, yes. I, 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 well, I kind of agree and I kind of don't agree. I think they they realised at a certain point it's gonna it's 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 unsalvageable so let's just put it out and make it a, like you know when you got double dragon and stuff like that yeah you're like we're kind of in on the joke because we realize we've gone too far i don't think they did with this film though <laughs> okay i really don't okay because uh, uh, the film that high budget and stuff i don't think they did that i think they really thought oh yeah 
this is going to be amazing. Everyone's going to love it. And then we're going to make Batman triumph the next one and stuff. <laughs> and then, like, it kind of tanked. Well, it made money, but yeah. it was... Uh... As George Clooney said, he killed that franchise. Yeah, he um, did. I don't yeah. even blame him. If I'm... Actually, I, I, no, I no. don't blame him. No, well, but... yeah, well, we'll get to the Batman actors in just a second. Let me just yeah. ask you. What do you think of... Uh... The last two characters uh, will still, as the villains. Well, not really. The, Mr. Bane, mm-hmm. Bane. Yeah. Right? But you know, for some reason, called Mr. Bane by uh, Mr. Freeze. Uh, and um, yeah, so speak about Bane first, and then I'll get to the next, but last guy. Um. Did Bane even need to be there? No. Yeah, exactly. That's what Straight I say waste <laughs> of actual Bane. That's yeah. the best way I could put it. Yeah. Yes, he kind of looked the part, but at the same time. He brought none of the elements that were Bane no. to this. What he did was, uh, oh yeah, he's on Venom, right? Yeah. Like, it's obvious why they put Bane in this because he his character was relatively new at the time, and it's like, yeah, let's yeah. put the biggest thing named Batman into this film. The we have no idea bat. his backstory, but let's just yeah. put him in the film. Yeah. 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 Uh, and and the man who created Bane, uh, the Bane of humanity. Jason Woodrow, which is actually a yeah, yeah, but <laughs> but he he's more like a was he a Swamp Thing villain? Was he Jason Woodrow? Oh, okay, okay. Well, so how obviously so Poison Ivy is creating her plant life, whatever, whatever, right? Yeah, uh, her, her 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 plant growth, whatever it is, right? Yeah. And then he somehow stepping it away. She's called it Venom for whatever reason. Yeah, you're like, um, sure. Why are you gonna call something that's supposed to be like a fertilizer, or whatever, right? Yeah, Venom. Okay. Yeah. And then why are you gonna let your cohort just steal it away behind some vault door or whatever? Because he keeps on nicking it, runs in there, and then he combines it with steroids, or whatever, and he's sending it to like uh, the armies of the world. Yeah. The super soldiers. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and um, for some reason, then put, put, so you didn't relock this vault, by the way, right? Yeah. Um, you would have thought with all these, all these um, sinister people buying whatever, right? And they vote, and they're like, oh yeah, well, I'll spend a million pounds on a venom or ten million or whatever, right, for my yeah. own super soldiers. Yeah, and he doesn't doesn't spin the lock thing uh, on the vault before he does this. Oh, okay. Right. Sure. And then he's like, <laughs> she sees it. He sees her seeing it. He's like, oh, let me just grab my cohort over here and uh, lead her away. And then he's like, oh, you could join us. We could be uh, make millions together. And she's like, no, with the plants of the world. And he's like, oh, how dare you? How dare you hurt me so? And he just shoves her yeah. into her test tubes and whatnot. And then he's yeah. like, you know what? If I'm penny, if I'm pound, let's just whoop, whoop, just turn all these tables and all these chemicals on her. I there's a hole that she falls into something and he's like, well, you know, just more chemicals, whatever. Layers. All right, back to my bidding. All right. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know. Oh. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. It just felt like so, they recycled that origin from Catman's one sort of thing, you know. Like, oh. Yeah. Happenstance. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll have to say, though, I don't, I feel like Poison Ivy, in every single scene that she's in, she has a different style of costume. Yeah, give it that. It's yeah. different. There, there's definitely changes to it. Yeah, give it that. Yeah, it's quite crazy um, that. Okay, so as for the um, good guys, yeah, what did you think of <clears throat> Adam West as Batman? Uh, as is Batman and Bruce Wayne? Um, they're basically the same person. <laughs> it's there's true. No change um, whatsoever. I think. Uh, I think. I think his his voice is slightly different, ever so slightly different, but not really. Kind of ish huh. yeah as, as batman i think that's more based to it but it's very i think mean, he speaks slightly different yeah i wouldn't say like you're saying there's too much effort in distinguishing the characters yeah <laughs> i will say but was robin basically the same <laughs> yeah it really is no <clears throat> change whatsoever <clears throat> yeah um yeah uh to, to do they were right what, for the time what, where it came from yeah i guess what do you think of uh, Commissioner Gordon here? Didn't get to do much? Nope. He was quite boring. He just... 
Just upset. calling the bat phone every single time because the police obviously uh, so inept at their job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to call just Batman like, all the time. You know what? <clears throat> Someone tripped over the pavement. Someone's jaywalking. Let's just call Batman. Yeah. Yeah. You know. All right. Literally. What's the police force paid to do? Um, we're paid to be calling Batman. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. Easy what job for think... them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of the Michael Keaton Batman? Um, um, yeah. When I say Michael Keaton Batman, I just think not just as Batman. It's Bruce Wayne as well. I liked it. Because yeah. they seemed like t- two different people, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, he, the, he, the, like I think in Batman 989, he comes up with a bit, he does have those parties and stuff like that. Yeah. But there's, I think you see him in more of his private moments where he doesn't need to act like a spoiled playboy. Yeah. He's got rich money, right? Yeah. And when he introduced, when they introduce him first, and he pretends to not know who Bruce Wayne is. Yeah. To Vicky Vale. I don't know if he's like, I'm just going to be a troll or he yeah. didn't know, you know. But and then when he appeared, when they're looking around the armory, the when I say the armory, I don't mean the bat armory, I mean the Wayne uh, mansion, you know, where he's got the uh, armors from the different eras and different parts of the world. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Knox is saying, <clears throat> I wonder where this from. I wonder where this is from. Oh, and uh, Bruce and Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton says, Oh, it's from Japan. And he goes, How do you know that? Oh, because I bought it there. I'm Bruce Wayne. I'm like, All right. <laughs> Like, sure, yeah. I guess. I mean, uh, you kind of come off as a bit, you know, like uh, a, a little bit of a himbo. Yeah. But it makes sense because he's trying he's trying to throw the suspicion away from him being Batman. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Um, I did like how his... He, as Bruce Wayne, he comes off as really friendly-ish, right? Uh, but yeah. he's got some some demons. Uh, yeah. When you, go, when you go to those... When you get to know him a bit more... So there's something, not not quite right with it, but yeah, he, he's dealing with a bit of issues. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, so Batman's said to be about 6'2 slash 6'4, in, as per the comics, right? Yeah. And Michael Keaton's like 5'7. Is he that short? He's that short. But All he right. never comes off that short. No. Like, he comes off as a decent, like he might be, you know, 5'10, 6'-ish. Yeah, it's because um, how he carries himself, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Because you never realise how small he is. Oh. Um, yeah. Damn him. But that, that yeah, but just like gives you how much of a how threatening his Batman was. Yeah. To so come and do stuff, and he looked like he'll murder you. Well, yeah. as, 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 as he's supposed <laughs> to look. There's, yeah. There's pretty them scenes where <laughs> there's what one scene where after um, he accidentally dro- he, he he so Turkish. This this thing never quite made sense to me, right? I, when I watched those as a kid, I was like, "Oh, this is amazing." But then when you look at it when you're older, it's kind of like, uh, "Right." So when he first, when he appears to confront the uh, Jack Nicholson, Jack Napier, right? Yeah. And um, I think he appears and he kicks the gun out of Napier's hand, and then he, he grabs him by the collar. Yeah. And then you get um, Eckhart, the police turncoat. Yeah. He points a gun at Gordon and tells Batman to. Um, let go of of Jack Napier. Yeah. So he lets go of Jack Napier, puts it down, and then Jack Napier's like patting Batman in the chest. Oh, yeah, nice costume, right? Yeah. Turns around to grab his gun, and then Batman's gone. Okay. But then Eckhart is still looking in that direction. No, no, was it? No, no, no. So it's not Eckhart. It was his henchman. Mm. Uh, but, uh, Joker's hen- uh, Jack Napier's henchman. Yeah. Still looking in that direction. I'm like, right, so you're telling me. Yes, okay, fair enough. Batman could disappear if you're not looking at him, yeah? Yeah. But these guys from that angle are looking at him. Yeah. Where did he go? Batman does not have teleporting powers. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Jason. No. Right? <laughs> and then um, <clears throat> after that, I think, yeah. They're going to leave. Joker, uh, Jack, Nap- Jack Napier goes, hey, Eckhart. And then he, he shoots Eckhart in his police tank. Huh? Yeah. Batman then kicks the gun out of his hand. And I think, um, does he? Oh, no, no. Sorry. That uh, Jack Napier shoots the gun at Batman, who blocks it with his gauntlet, and he ricochets something off something else, and then hits Jack Napier in the face. Hmm. <clears throat> then he falls over the barricade, and Batman tries to catch him, but he slips from his grip, and he falls into the vat of acid. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, "All right, sure. that's yeah." I mean, uh, uh, yeah, that's how you make the Joker. That's how you make the Joker. Did fall into chemicals after all. But yeah. then there's a scene where. So Batman, he's looked down. All right, Jack Napier's gone, right? But now they cut. The police are coming for Batman. So he steps forward, one right, 
and, he, and then you, the scene switches to please come into that direction, like they're, they're behind the doors. Yeah. Uh, so then, for some reason, Batman decides to take a big pantomime step back. You know, like where you, you're just shocked. You're like, yeah. You got to take that that step, that fencing step back. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, right, but I, I'm not sure. Batman would take a, a big step for a step forward and then go and reel himself back like that. Maybe turn around to see if he could go the other side and then. Because well, that's what he did, and then he threw a gas bomb to disguise his, where he was going, right? Yeah. But I was like, did he really need to leave forward and then lean back in such uh, bewilderment? All right. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <It's> dramatic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I think Keaton came across really well uh, as both personas Yeah. Um, in this film. I really liked him. Yeah. Uh, I also, yeah, I thought he did... Would you say he did better performance in 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 Batman Returns because he had more meat to do um, as Bruce Wayne as well? Uh, so he got to interact with Catwoman a bit more. Yeah, I would say he did. You yeah. know, yeah. like I said, he had more time as Bruce Wayne in Batman yeah. Returns than he does. Well, in I, the I think first he one. like in Batman and uh, Nine Eight Nine, all they had to do was act like Batman, right? Yeah, but um, as as when he is Batman. But when he's Batman here as well, he's got to be kind of like having a uh, uh, a thing with Catwoman, but also not, kind of. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're, he's fight, they're fighting each other, right? And then, I don't know why, he's in some stupid line sometimes, okay? But she grabs his ears and knees him in the face. And I think she, he then he, he flips her over. Yeah. He grabs her foot, flips her over, drops her to the ground, <clears throat> and says, eat floor, high fiber. Oh, I'm like, What? <laughs> And he whispers it like in his Batman voice as well. The whisper growl. I'm like, mm, okay. So glad I blanked out my memory. <laughs> and once again, we had to cut this episode into multiple parts because this went on for three hours. So, yeah, sorry about that. So, this is the end of part one. Um, I'll look back at the Batman films and their ups and downs, highs and lows, all that jazz. So yeah, thanks for listening. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and share this podcast with your friends. Give us a rating on the podcast apps. Like our YouTube channel where we have lots of gameplay. Well, a few gameplay videos, some coming up. Um, what's lovely, jubbly stuff. Also, once again, shout out to my friends at the Four Quadrants podcast. They're doing the Star Trek in chronological order by my friends Kay and George and Jerry. So yeah, check them out. The link should be in the description. And once again, guys, I have been a guy with major mummy and daddy issues as they died in front of me. I'll take his old Carl Charles and see why he's not here. And I'd like to thank you all for taking a trip with us around the multiverse. Bye. Yeah. I just love a big strong man who's not afraid to show it with someone half his size. Be gentle, it's my first time. Thanks. I you make it so easy, don't you? Always waiting for some bad man to save you. I am K.